Today I'm going to show you what we call vacation mode. And what that is, is um, a very simple way to turn off your sunbank when you leave. So, you know, if you're leaving for five days in the summer, every day the sunbank is going to get hotter and it will boil water on your roof, which is really impressive, but also just not what you want to happen on a regular occasion. Also for our customers who live in really good solar places, um, they might want to turn the tubes and, uh, and turn the, the system partially off uh, for like part of the summer, for example. So I'm gonna show you how we do this. And uh, today we've got the supplies. Uh, basically it's a you know, can of spray paint from, uh, from Home Depot or Lowe's. Uh, really easy to find, you know, seven, seven bucks. Um, some masking tape, found that the uh, two inch wide variety is good. You can do two rows of it uh, side by side to mask the side, I'll show you the, the shape. And then obviously safety gear. Uh, this is a respirator. For the first one, we won't use it, but I'll be using that and gloves. Um, so let me show you uh, what it's going to look like. So you, um, I've gone ahead and I've, and I've masked the uh, the first tube here. So the first thing you're going to do, and again, this is a lot easier if you're doing it right out of the box on the ground. You know, put a tarp down on the ground and you can spray paint on it. Um, if you've already installed your system, it's okay. You just are going to need to, uh, you know, wash the dust off of your tubes, remove the tubes, uh, paint them, and then and then reinstall everything. So it is more work. So highly recommend if you're, you know, getting your system and putting it in that this is a good thing to do as part of the installation. So the first thing you'll do is you will want to take out the heat pipe and aluminum fan assembly, and it just pulls right out of the tube. Uh, this is a really nice feature. It makes that, you know, if you ever had a broken glass tube, you would simply pull the assembly out and then replace the tube. So that makes that really easy. And then, as I've shown, we've already, uh, we've already masked half of the tube vertically. So the part that we have masked is going to be the part that um, doesn't have any paint on it, obviously. So mask the whole thing. And then what I'm going to do to paint it is put the unmasked side down on the, on the ground. You know, you want to give your uh, spray paint a good shake. I've already shaken it quite a bit. And at that point, you know, it's just the, uh, the art of spray painting, which, um, you know, you don't need to learn from me, but uh, basically you see it goes on and it's nice that the tube is clean because it's fresh out the box. And it's going to go on and coat that really nicely. You can get a shiny or you can get a matte either way. And I'm going to do it, make sure it looks like you use a little bit more there. Try not to get your shoes. And there, voila. And so that's going to uh, match the tank pretty much perfectly. And I think this, um, this you know, paint and primer aluminum version is probably a pretty good one because it's going to look when you flip them over, it's just going to match the stainless steel tank well. If you had like a tile roof or, uh, you know, wanted to match your roof color, you could do that as well. But the silver's nice, it's reflective, um, and it's going to look really good when they're all installed. All right, here's a little progress report. So we've painted uh, the first few tubes and given this one a a minute to dry, so let's look at the uh, finished result here. If I can get this tape off. So, for the purposes of this video, that's good enough. So, you know, you're gonna you see one half of the tube is painted, the other half is not. I'll get the rest of that tape off. And then uh, after that, you're just going to uh, pop this back in and then you'll be ready to do your sunbank installation. Um, yeah, if you can, just some things to note, uh, you know, find a shady spot to do this because these tubes do heat up quickly uh, and this part will get very hot um, if they're left in the sun. And um, yeah, just make sure that you're, you know, doing it on a cloudy day or something in the shade and then you can resume your installation.